Hello everybody and welcome back to the Amagi. We are back with another live reaction sort of video with me, Keegan, as your wonderful host. Hopefully I'm doing a good job. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this stuff. Today we're not doing memes, but instead we're going to do a Naruto tier list. But it's not the kind of Naruto tier list you expect. We're not doing power levels. It's over 9,000! We're not going with who is better. We're not even gonna go with the different Naruto intros, which could be fun, but no. Today, what we're going to be doing is ranking characters from Naruto series one by how well they would do in the real world. So think about it, right? Let's say one day they all woke up and they were no longer in the hidden leaf or slightly outside of the hidden leaf. Instead, they were in some sort of slice of life anime. They've got no chakra, they've got no martial arts talents, maybe some martial arts talents depending on the people. There is no ninja war going on, there are no tailed beasts to worry about. They've got to figure out their life, their love, their career, everything. So we're gonna figure out who does well, who doesn't do so well. Let's get to the tier list. Right off the bat, I'm seeing Akamar, <laughs> who is a dog. And I think all dogs are the best. Akamaru is doing so well in the real world. He's living, laughing, loving. He's a talented dog. He could, he could be a movie dog. He could be a stunt dog. He could be one of those dog shows where they do the funky little tricks. Or he's just somebody's favorite pet. And to follow that up, I suppose I'll go with Kiba. And Kiba, without Akamaru, I don't think he would do so well in the real world. He's kind of like, he tries hard, but he doesn't do so well, you know? And I think Akamaru sets him apart. I'd say Kiba is in the C tier here. Like even in Naruto, like he's pretty low, right? Like after that initial Chunin tournament arc, what does Kiba do other than track? And how much tracking is necessary in the real world right now? I don't know. You tell me if I'm missing something. I think he's a solid C tier for sure. Cause he works hard, but he's just not that good at much. Let's go with a controversial one, all right? Jiraiya. Jiraiya is a very talented individual. He's an excellent shinobi. He's a good writer too, but he's also a despicable pervert. And I don't know how that would go over in the real world. I think you get caught peeping in the baths once and potentially straight to prison. His writing skills are good, but are they enough to carry him? I would say Jiraiya in the real world, D tier. It's tough. All right, next up, I'm actually gonna go from the top row and just go across. Might Guy. Might Guy is absolutely legendary. This man kicked Madara in the face. He provided a challenge for the one of the toughest fights and he did it all through hard work and determination, right? He was never like a real talent at ninjutsu, right? He's a taijutsu specialist for sure. He's rock and roll. So I think Mike Guy in the real world through sheer will and determination and a beautiful smile, he could do whatever he put his mind to. I think he's going to A tier. Kabuto. Now this is a tough one. I think Kabuto, because he's such a slippery snake and can kind of, you know, put himself into any situation and figure it out. I think that really, that, that puts him up there, right? Because the world's not easy. The world is tough. But does that make him a grifter? You got to wonder. He was an orphan, right? And orphans in the real world, oftentimes associated with sadness. That's, it's a tough one. It is but he also has proven himself time and time again, being able to reinvent himself. He's been able to reinvent himself so many times. And that's something that I hear all the time is that, you, you know, it, the, the, the path to a success is paved with many failures. I would say Kabuto in the real world, S tier. Absolutely. Next up, we've got Asuma. Now this is tragic, of course. But maybe in the real world, he doesn't fall victim to a member of the Akatsuki. Maybe he just smokes a bunch of cigarettes and lives his life. Asuma is a solid contender for B tier, especially because all those cigarettes will give him lung cancer. Unfortunate, but that's real life for you. Next up, we've got Choji. I think Choji's a beautiful boy. And I don't want to body shame anybody. And I think he could actually make his way through life as a very sensible, YouTuber doing mukbang videos, right? Like, could you see Choji just plowing through insane plates of like cheesy, spicy noodles and just living for it? Absolutely loving it. I could see it. I think he'd be good at it. And I think 
he would know when to stop. He wouldn't take it too far and let his personality get taken over by that. He, just, he loves to eat. He loves to make videos. Choji's a solid B tier, right with his, right with his sensei. Ebisu. I don't even know what Ebisu's skills are, to be honest. He's a Jonin. His claim to fame is that he works with the Hokage's grandson, I suppose. Tries to teach Naruto, fails spectacularly. I think he's the kind of guy who thinks a little too highly of himself. I think Ebisu, with the inflated ego and maybe some skills, joins Kiba in C tier. He could probably be like an office worker who thinks he deserves to be manager but never quite makes it. Next up is Gara. Now Gara is an interesting case because he wouldn't have Shukaku in the real world. There's no tailed beasts here, right? So he would just be a kid with bad mommy issues, a bad temper, who never sleeps. So he'd spend a lot of time on Discord, probably, <laughs> and he would discover some horrifying things. He'd spend some time in some of the darker places of the internet, and I think he might end up being one of those people who doesn't want to work, who doesn't want to do anything, who hates other people because of things he's read online, whatever else. I'm putting Gara in the real world at a D tier because without Shukaku, he would never have met up with Naruto, and then he would have never had his redemption arc. So I think it's just dark, dark Gara all the way down. Unfortunate. Haku is a very interesting case. Uh, on the other side of the internet rabbit hole spectrum, I think Haku um, would do phenomenally streaming or on TikTok, would have a, a massive following. People would donate lots for very particular reasons. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Haku uh, confuses a couple characters in the Naruto universe through their gender expression that Haku is a girl, Haku turns out to be a boy. Haku, B tier. Hinata. Now, Hinata's from a rich family, immediately A tier. Can she make it to S? Not on her own. I mean, in Naruto, obviously, she marries the main character, has some wonderful children, um, brings loads of happiness to Naruto. But in this world, I think she would just be in her clan, in her caste, very rich, very powerful. Maybe that cast clan dynamic plays out a little bit differently in the real world, but I think she'd fare quite well just off of birthright, straight away. Eno, she'd run a flower shop. What, what's she gonna do in the real world? She's just like, she's, a, a, when we meet her, she's just the regular, a regular teenage girl. She gets in an argument with her friend, they fight over boys. She finds some inner strength down the road. She wants to open a flower shop, be with her family. Absolutely. I would say a modest living, a local business owner, C tier. Erica, a school teacher in the real world. That's it, he's just a really nice school teacher. I think he's in the same class as Eno, where it's a modest living, but it's honest work and it's real good. Erika's going in C tier. Kakashi, there are so many things going on here because his talent as a ninja boys him, absolutely. Like his personality is phenomenal, but everything about Kakashi boils down to experiences he's had as a ninja or um, as a part of a ninja family, right? Like his father passing away, um, him having to bear that guilt, him kind of bearing that anger a little bit, meeting his squad and then them dying in a ninja war, carrying that with him with the ideas of uh, never leaving your teammates behind, teamwork. All these things are very ninja centric. Obviously those lessons can be applied anywhere, but I think in Kakashi's case, it's tough. I would say that Kakashi would be a hard worker he might be a little bit too prickly for some. I think that like his hard work and his work ethic to the point of perfection sometimes. I would put Kakashi staunchly in C tier as well because I'm not sure what he would do. Maybe he could become part of the military police, but I'm gonna leave him there. Kakashi in the real world, he might do well for himself, but he might step on his own toes a lot. Konkuro, okay, puppet master. I don't know if there's a career for that anymore. Maybe he could work with animation, but if he's gonna stick to his puppeteering, D tier. It's not enough, not enough demand for puppets these days. And speaking of that, Karasu, D tier. I don't know why Karasu's on this list, <laughs> but he is. Konomaru, the grandson of a legendary figure, raised on the expectation that he's gonna be a big shot, but is he? Until he meets Naruto, he doesn't really know how to work hard. He's a bit of a brat. He meets Naruto through ninja training. I think Konohamaru's 
potential is high. You know what? I think as somebody who is the grandson of like quasi royalty, I think he makes it in a B tier. He gets into good schools. He works sort of hard, makes it through, comes out, gets offered a job by somebody who knows who his grandpa is. He's fine. Cora and I, you know what? Along with Asuma, I think she's got some good skills. Her ability to manipulate people is up there, right? So I think in corporate America as a lawyer, casting illusions, if you would, or maybe even a communications specialist, an advertiser, Kurenai would make her way to wherever she needed to be, making big bucks along the way. So I'm gonna put her along with Asuma in B. Naruto Uzumaki, oh boy. I feel like this is gonna be a controversial decision. Cause he's an orphan, tough start. And he's not as crafty as Kabuto. He just works hard, bad at making friends. He's got a bad reputation. His parents are gone. He doesn't really have anything akin to a family. He doesn't go to an orphanage. He just sort of lives on his own for a while. He grows up eating spoiled milk and ramen noodles. Doesn't have Kurama. Can't prove himself in the, uh, the ways of the ninja. Poor Naruto. I think he would end up probably closer to Irika than to anybody else. He's gonna have a tough go of it. Neji. Along with Hinata, he comes from a very rich, powerful family, legendary lineage. He is going to be set for life no matter what, but he's also a genius. I'm gonna put him with Hinata. Orochimaru, immediate S tier. This man is so conniving. He knows way too much. He does it in some very immoral ways, but do morals really matter? when it comes to getting what you want. Yeah, think about that for a minute. He would make his way up through the medical world to be the world's most sought after doctor. If not, he'd become a researcher. If not, there are so many other things that Orochimaru could do because he's Orochimaru. S tier in the real world. You can't stop this man. Rock Lee. I'm gonna go with Rock Lee is basically Might Guy Jr. He's a fantastic character, don't get me wrong. He's got the best fight in OG Naruto, bar none. Him versus Gara, come on. His ability to work hard comes because he had a mentor like that. I'm putting him in B tier. Staunchly below his mentor, but doing quite well because he's got that work ethic. Sakura. Now Sakura, I think, beats Ino. We see them like in a fist fight. They're very evenly matched, but I think Sakura has the mental capacity to outpace Eno across the board. Always very smart. I'm putting her in B tier as well. Sasuke. Oh, another orphan. There's a lot of orphans in Naruto. I think there's a lot of orphans in anime and manga in general, if we're being honest. His clan is murderized. I would say Sasuke ends up in D tier because he's so obsessed with revenge. He's got no ninjutsu talent. He doesn't have the Sharingan in this universe. He would just be so obsessed with revenge after his brother led to the death of his family. Poor Sasuke. Shikamaru, S tier. Duh. He's, he's, he's too smart. S tier for Shikamaru. This guy's got the thought process to beat all thought processes. Shino, loves bugs. Creepy guy, tough to get along with. C tier. He's not going to prison like a lot of these guys down here. <laughs> Maybe he's an entomologist, but again, you would be making an honest living. Tamari. Well, if we follow through and say that she does marry Shikamaru, then Tamari is going to be, if not S tier, A tier, just because of this connection here. She can match his wits when it matters. Not quite as strategic thinking, but you know, she can keep him in check. 10-10. You know what? I would say 10-10 immediate B tier. She can't be C tier because her regular ninja skills, like her fuinjutsu, her ability to use weapons so super well, just outpaces anybody's ability to use jutsu because it doesn't exist in this real world, right? So she can use all these weapons. She could be a wicked martial artist, all right? She could, I know I said no martial arts earlier, but 1010 is an exception. She could have an immaculate collection of ancient weapons. She could be um, an assassin. I'm confident that B tier makes sense for 1010. Tsunade. I would say Tsunade fits. Ooh, no, but she's got problems. Let me think. She's a great medical ninja, but she loses her beloved more than once, little brother and lover. And then she develops a drinking and gambling problem, but she bounces back. If Tsunade can find Alcoholics Anonymous, B tier. Otherwise, she's fallen lower. And Zabuza. 
he's powerful. He can crush an apple with his bare hand. He's a criminal, though. You know what? He murdered all of his classmates. Prison. Poor guy. <laughs> And that is my tier list of how these Naruto characters from the first series, from early on, how they would fare in the real world. Uh, I did my best to explain most of my thought processes. Uh, hopefully I gave these guys some good careers. Hopefully I didn't say anything too outrageous, but maybe that's not such a bad thing. I want you to let me know what you think of this tier list, how you would rearrange it, um, what I got right, what I didn't, and maybe let me know how some other characters would fare that I didn't talk about today. I think that'd be fun. Maybe some from Shippuden, maybe some lesser known characters from the first series. That's a blast. And let us know what you think of this overall. If you guys have any other ideas of kind of live reaction stuff that you'd like to see me do. Um, and in the meantime, enjoy this. Go watch our other one that we've got out right now, the Naruto memes, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.